Autumn is here. This week on Joe's Outdoor Office, we're going to talk about making a simple camp peach cobbler with Walt Strickland, who camps a lot. He's an avid camper, and he loves to cook when he camps. We're going to do a step-by-step -step on a simple peach cobbler in a Dutch oven. And what I'm going to show you today is my peach cobbler that took us took us an inordinate amount of time. And I will give props to the man who, uh, who gave us the recipe, uh, uh, Joe Stewartson uh, from, from Atlanta. Well, we tried for about five years to make peach cobbler and we tried it every way we thought we could do it. And uh, it was before Google, so we couldn't look it up. And, uh, and, and Joe came into camp and said, well, what are you doing? And we told him, he said, no, here's how to do it. And so I'm gonna give you the recipe that Joe Stewartson gave us about 20 years ago. This tool right here makes cooking with a Dutch oven easy as pie or cobbler. Uh, this is a uh, charcoal chimney and it takes no fuel. The, the way you start it is you turn it upside down. Yeah. You use a, use a whole sh sheet of newspaper, both sides, wad it up loosely and, and put it in the bottom. And, and I do two, you do two sheets in there very loosely. There we go. Now we're going to go down to the ground. Now turn it over, sit it right here, and now I'll fill it up with charcoal. Now all we got to do is light this little thing. And I light it in a couple different places so that We got a little wind today, don't we? Yes, we do. But you're always fighting wind uh, when you're out camping, so. All right, we're gonna open two cans of peaches. Now, I like the peaches. Actually, the ones I like are hard to find. It's uh, peach pith pieces, uh, and it's in heavy syrup. But what I ended up, what you'll end up most of the time getting is sliced peaches in heavy syrup. And, and what that does is, the syrup's what you're gonna cook in. It's the only liquid we're going to put in this pot. So that's the medium, really? Yeah, it is the medium. This is a real simple recipe. It's, it's one number nine can of peaches in heavy syrup, one cup of sugar, and one cup of self-rising flour. Now, there's lots of secrets that we had to learn, but the one we learned just a few years ago is this one right here. We used to make the, the peach cobbler right in the in the Dutch oven, right right in the Dutch oven, and we did we'd spend hours cleaning that Dutch oven up. But we found these, and they are three quart. What does what did I say they were? Three quart casserole pans, and they're perfect. Watch this. Boom. No cleanup. All right now. To, to put this together, you put the dry ingredients in first, and that's going to be two cups of sugar. And I measured this out, so it's going to be pretty close. Oop. All right, it'll be a little extra sweet. And then we're going to go with two cups of flour. And I don't sift. I just this is the way we're going to be doing it when we camp. So this is the way I do it here. Two cups. Two cups of flour. All right. Once you get the dry ingredients in there, I stir them up. I like to get all that sugar and flour kind of mixed together. You pour the peaches in. And now, another little trick. Stir this, but only stir it. You're not trying to make pudding. You want to stir it maybe five or six times and it's going to look funky but I guarantee you leave that alone right there. Alright now for the piece de resistance that you'll be able to smell and will drive you nuts as you're cooking it. A little bit of cinnamon on top and that is it.
25 years ago when I started camping, somebody told me I needed to get a Dutch oven to cook with. Well, that's all they said, so I walked to the to the sporting goods section and I found a Dutch oven and I bought it. I bought this one right here. And it's a nice Dutch oven. I use it all the time. But you know something? We don't use it camping. And I'll show you why. See this lid? This lid's rounded. Look at this. No, it's flat on the bottom. Now we could hang it over the fire and we got other pots that we hang over the fire and cook stuff in. But let me show you this. This is a camping Dutch oven. And the reason it is it's got a lip on it. See that lip? When you pour the charcoal on top, it holds the charcoal. The other thing, too, is this right here. See those feet? Very important. Because to make it in the oven, you got to have heat all the way around your, your, uh, your, your item you're cooking. Well, you can put coal, charcoal on the ground, set it on top, got your stuff inside, cook, pour your coals on top, you got the complete oven. All right, now that the coals are ready, we're gonna pour out just a little bit. Maybe seven, nine, there's five. Oh, that's too many, but that's why I got the, the tongs. We'll put these back in. Now, we we'll spread these things out, just a little bit. See, make my little fire circle there. Now then. Here is why you need the legs on your Dutch oven. Because now I'm going to set it right there. It doesn't crush them, and I got the heat underneath it. Okay, now that we have the ones underneath, now then, let's put the ones on top. And there you go. Now I'm going to spread them out just a little bit. This is why you need that lip on that Dutch oven. If I had that rounded top, believe me, they won't stay on top of there. But with this lip on there, it holds those coals perfectly, directly over the, whatever you're cooking. We've been cooking here for about 15 minutes. And this is, you can just now start to smell the cinnamon. Now then, I'm gonna lift this up. And there you go. See what you're starting there? It's not near done, but it's moving that way. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes here. Let's take a look. I think we're, I think we're there. Now, look at that. Boy, if that ain't ready, it sure, I don't know what it is. Only thing to make this better is a big old piece of ice cream put on top of it. Woohoo! let's go. Now, if you ain't got diabetes before you eat this, you dang well might have after.